Hey everybody, this is Joyce Not a Spring Chick Chow, and today on Cooking with Not a Spring Chick, we are doing, of course, a live sh Oh, yeah, watch where that live goes, right? Um, okay, well, there's nobody else around, right here, right? Okay, so anyway, we are doing a live show today where we're showing you how to make pasta salad. Now, one of the things that happens, and you'll see it if you've been watching some of the other shows, is when we're live, let's just say there's no editing and it's going, and I might feel a little bit more rushed, although... We shall see. Okay. This one's so, really live. So this one's really live. So while I'm doing this, you can watch compared to the other ones. Am I still the same me, or do I change a little bit because I'm live? Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, as most people can say, we're over equipped. We're over equipped and over camera and over lit. Other than the fact that we have what? Other than that, we're just totally normal. Because what you're doing is everybody is watching this and getting to see our practice sessions in with our live stream broadcasting unit, which we actually have, because we will be live streaming. What will we be live streaming in November? We're doing our live stream Christmas special, which I'm so excited about. No, that does not mean I'm live streaming a cooking show. We're doing a, we're live streaming a Christmas special with music. Oh yeah, we're, you got to hear such great songs as uh, um, Jingle Bells, mm -hmm. uh, Ave Maria, mm -hmm. Uh, oh, Little Town of Bethlehem. Well, these are all songs you're familiar with, and you can sing along with us because I think a lot of you probably already know the lyrics. Yeah, and we, we actually did want to try to have the bouncing ball type thing, but we've got a monitor problem at the moment. Ooh. We haven't figured out how to make that work yet. Wow. Well, actually, because it takes a computer, well, we, we, we kind of also... You don't understand what it's really like to do live streaming on a large scale. <laughs> because we've got two computers sitting here now and basically going to have to bring in a third and possibly a fourth. Ah! You know, sort of asinine, isn't it? I know. That, okay, it's why you don't do live streaming. But we're, we're, as they say, we're not very bright. Well, we do, we do have a couple of different options and ways to do it. I'm sitting there thinking about the people that are singing because usually like when you're singing, sometimes, you know, when you're Christmas caroling, everybody's got their music in front of them. Well, see, a lot of them are familiar and they may have their music or they might not have their music. Okay. That is the one thing we can guarantee you is going to have to work is the monitor that they're looking at that does have the lyrics to the music coming up on the screen. That's well, otherwise the you're going to have good old Christmas dance, you know, with music. <laughs> yeah, and... Um, and they'll be huddled around. <laughs> yeah, it, it's also, since this is, you know, we're, we're letting people know that we're, you know, we're, um, we are looking for, um, um, you want product placement. Product placement is perfectly acceptable. We are going to be live streaming across three platforms, folks. Three. Three. Three, not one, because uh, we changed our plans after the Bill O'Reilly John Stewart fiasco, where the thing only lasted a few minutes and then they lost the live stream. Which means redundancy, redundancy, redundancy. Yeah. Which is one of the things that they, well, yeah. actually they always tell you to do. Because we actually have, right now, we have three different forms of live stream in front of us. We are going to be picking up another live streaming camera probably next week mm -hmm. and we're going to do on multiple, that day, we're going to start doing multiple platforms, and we will be live streaming from SEMA. So I'm sitting here looking at this. We're just making these quick vegetables. Yeah. Are we, are, is this supposed to be a warm pasta or a cold? No, pasta? it's cold. This is a pro. This is this uh, one is not. This one is just making a pasta, folks. Okay. So anyway, so all of this right here, we've got the onions, the cucumbers, yeah, the cauliflower. We're going to put it. This in is here. simply because we want more cheese. <laughs> Would people do, would we create a cooking show just because we want to eat? Uh-huh. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Totally. And because we have all these things in the cabinets we need to get rid of. Actually, it was really funny. Somebody asked me one day, they said, oh, that's great. What, they're like, what made you decide to do a cooking show? And I'm like, I want to eat. Yeah, and then, <laughs> no, you know, it started out as... as We're a, content creators. We okay. wanted to eat. And it started out with the fact that cooking with not a spring shake started out as a joke. As most of the things that we do start out as, we were honoring 
those overdressed, overjeweled, high-heeled moms of the 1950s on TV. And of course, I resemble none of them in a bikini and thong. Well, no, she <laughs> she didn't wear. She wore the she wore expensive dresses, heels, and a little tiny apron, and 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 jewels, and was terrified. I know, I was. I didn't want anything to happen to them. And then, as the history will say, we then went to a big apron, and that was not a good thing to do either because. The, what it, was she, too, it was too heavy. Yeah, it also. Right? I know that sounds kind and of. And she funny. also splattered. Well, and, because see, I had the apron in front of me, so I had a reason to have it all over the. You know, there, you didn't have to be careful at all. So you know, and then we went to a, a, a t-shirt and shorts, and then we knew we were in business, because uh, the less she had on, the less mistakes she made. <laughs> I know. It's like I need a bigger bowl. I know. Well, how, and see, I, part I, of green cooking. Is you use the same one because there will be a bigger bowl. What we want to, uh, I need it. I just mix it in this one, and now we'll get the big bowl. We're going to put the thing in and put it in that and finish it off. Oh, we are. Yeah. Oh, good. No, that was just because everything was already there. Why mess up the next one? Oh. The next one is what we put the cheese in. Oh, okay. Then I'm going to do it this way because yeah. I could have just poured it in this bowl in the first yeah. place. Yeah. No, because then you'd have made a mess of my sides. But I have done something like that. Yeah, because she says there. I'm going to add some of it along the way. Yeah, because what she does, she takes on a bowl that we're, on something we're going to be using to take photos of. She sits there and cleans it off on the sides. Of it. Could I do something like that? Yeah, because um, okay. The, and then we're the, adding blue cheese. Are you ready? And Parmesan cheese. Now this is folks. This is Monty's blue cheese. So don't anybody tell her that we've used. Now say you're going blue cheese for Monty. Yes, we, Monty does get one blue cheese crumble a day. And there's a reason for that because um, okay, M Monty uh, had an infection, and uh, Monty had an infection that outdoor dogs don't get because outdoor dogs leave their stuff all over the place, and then they go back and eat on it. But Monty is a, a house dog, so. I just recreated giving Monty penicillin <laughs> from the stuff that it got it. A little horse's ass is it got strong as an ox. Well, you know, you always wonder, it's like, like growing up, you know, like the dogs growing up, it's like, they never got all these things that, like, dogs, it's like, it's like is it because you're in the city and people spoil their dogs and they, it's like, well, no, the, do the, the things that the dogs naturally normally get, they don't yeah. get being house dogs. Yeah, and, 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 and basically the medicine, you're looking at four to five thousand dollars, are five dollars worth of uh, blue cheese and homemade penicillin, which we've also done for. Her. And I love the blue cheese myself anyway. Yeah, and Monty doesn't care because we have kitty cat treats for her. We, she she's viable. Give it a choice yeah. between kitty cat treats, or blue cheese. She'll take the kitty cat treats. But she does like the blue cheese very much. I know, but she'll she's bought out. She can buy her. Oh gosh, look at this. This is a lot, a lot of pasta. Well, yeah, but this got a, we got people that are going to be eating. No, what it means is that we're going to be munching. This is our munchy stuff for the next few days while we're cooking. And here's the great part about this, because we're looking pasta. This is pasta that actually could be sort of hot or cold. It's irrelevant. And you can also put salad dressing on it individually if you want. Mm. That's right, because we have no salad dressing on here. No, it's just the mm. cheese. If you want to put it on a thing, Take a dressing that you like, and then you oh. put it. And we do have lots of salad dressing. You can have the cheese melt all in it like a hot pasta. Yeah, uh, we do. Ooh, we we, we do have jalapeno cheese. We could warm up and oh. it too. Well, let's make it a pasta melt. Okay, then what okay. you do is so, just okay. go take the container out and put it. Yeah, I know. Take which container out? You no, know, the the cheese container, jalapeno stuff. God, we got to buy on this container. Okay, so oh. see, this is one of the things, if you've been watching us, you know that along the way we do change the recipe. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know. But she gets it was a pasta salad. We're making a pasta salad melt. Yeah. So oh just God. put your stuff oh my God. in there and then... Uh, <laughs> going, do you have all those cheeses? Yes, we've got Parmesan blue cheese and now we're putting... Uh, we also got, like I said, we, have, we got a can. We purchased a whole can of... Um, of um, of jalapeno cream, of jalapeno <gasps> cream yeah, cheese. Oh, let's add that too. And we have shards. We have Mexican shards to put with it too. Oh, I know. They're gonna go. This is awfully cheesy. 
No, but this yeah. is, no, it is, but it's what, green cooking is cooking with what you have. Well, we, we already have all of this. Yeah, oh, just this heat is, the thing up. Oh, heat it up first? Yeah. Okay. Just go put it in the oven and warm, put it in the microwave. And, and, and now, those people that have never seen us live don't realize why we went to microwave cooking. Because see this beautiful kitchen in front of okay. you? Oh, this is, this is going to be so, okay, this is a mm -hmm. pasta cheese melt. This yeah. is going to be so good. Yeah, <laughs> like, she gets all wound up. If you have it, she can wear, this is how she can wear a swimsuit all the time, is that she totally gets wound up over the cooking meat. I know, people are going like, I can't believe you're using all those cheeses. Well, we happen to have these cheeses. If we and, don't have it, we don't use it. And I love, you know, like those things that are four cheeses and... You know, it's, it's, this is what we happen to have. Yeah. So what we have in here so far, we've got green onions, cauliflower, cucumbers, pasta, mixed vegetables. Yes, we grabbed a can of mixed vegetables. Which we've been sitting here for a while. I know, so we needed to kind of use it up. Um, blue cheese, parma, grated Parmesan cheese. Now we're going to add jalapeno cheese sauce. Oh, and this, this jalapeno cheese sauce down. is really unreal when you put it on stuff. I mean, it is one of our better ever acquisitions. This is like, well, yeah, you buy it. Just the, this is, this is like you buy it in a can. Buy, yeah. And then you <laughs> use what you need when you need it. It's just, it's like, it's just like Velveeta, except better. Oh yeah, because it's got the spice. And then I just put like little shavings of pepper jack on top. Yeah. You don't need a lot. See, look. I know. He totally all wound up about it. This is why the cooking show works and people don't. Yes. So, because it's all it's about her getting wound up. <laughs> it's like, okay, let's. And then, see, part of it is we're recreating this. It's, <laughs> yeah, it's okay. We're going to go to Guy Fieri. Yes. Guy Fieri said, rope. take the, re ta he was actually a SEMA when we said, it was an auto show. Oh, he that's said, true. take the recipe and make it your own. Don't use what I, don't, I just use the, 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 the ingredients that you enjoy. And people don't understand that. I remember watching Graham Kerr, the Galloping Gourmet, said the same thing. All I'm doing is showing you how to do it. You make it yours. Yes. No, she doesn't. Oh, my God. I know. I can see that how warm it is. <laughs> you can see how excited I'm getting about eating. Yeah, and basically only the cheese are going to be warm. The pasta is not going to really be that warm. Mm. So. Mm. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. It, it's, just, it's just like, mm. you know, when, you, when we actually have all the ingredients we need to cook with, it's like being the kid in the candy store. Oh, this is so good. Yeah. This is so, like, amazingly good. This is, uh, I see. This is, <laughs> okay. Our pasta salad turned into a pasta melt. <laughs> yeah. Actually, we've got, wait a minute. It's a four cheese pasta melt, isn't it? Got yeah. One, two, three, four. Yes. We've got a four, pe four cheese pasta melt. Yep. <laughs> and only, do we don't, reason why we don't have a five is because somebody ate the, the cheddar. <laughs> oh, I can add the other stuff. It'll be a five cheese pasta melt. Yeah. Oh, we actually, <laughs> add the cheddar. Yeah, okay. And that the cheddar's gone. No, you didn't put the shards on yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. There you go. Okay, so we're going to make this the five cheese. <laughs> yeah, I forgot about that one. Okay. And those, and if you're going to get going to get shards like that, make okay. certain that the, the mm -hmm. they will melt. It will, on the back side, it will say formulated not to melt. Those you don't want. Yeah, it, it does. It says right on the back of the package. Yeah. Because it's the imitation ones that are not real cheese. And yeah. if you've ever cooked with them, they just stay whole. Then you can't, and then you, if, you know, if you do manage to melt them, you can't get them off of whatever you well, did. Well, there's them something off. about cheese. It's like you use cheese to have it melt, and it's the texture. And yeah, oh, well, oh. real cheese will wash off. You know, it will melt in the water. You know, uh, you know what's really unusual is this is a really unusual combination of cheeses. Because we had them. Because we had them. Because a lot of times you might use like, an Asiago or Romano or yeah. um, a mozzarella or, you know, cheddar. Oh, we got the chards on here. <laughs> I know. It melted it more. <laughs> yeah, I know. She got it. Um. 
And this one, it's a shred mate Mexican. This one's got seasoning in it too. So. Mm. For everybody. And then, see, look at I always love it because cheese does that. Yeah. <laughs> but just for everyone that wants to keep track, this is the longest live cooking show that we have ever done. Oh, is it? We're oh, that's right. We're still on. Oh, yes. We're still live. Okay. We're still on. Okay. Okay. This was this was really okay. A five cheese, five cheese. What did you call it? Pasta melt. Five cheese pasta melt. Yes. Anyway. This is really good. You're going to have to make some of your own. This is, oh, I, I can make this again and again and again. <laughs> but meanwhile, bon appetit. Enjoy.